Hi and welcome. Um, this video is going to demonstrate creating a QuickBooks purchase order from an SI2015 project. So uh, to do that, go to Start Projects, uh, Manage Projects, and you're going to want to um, check out and open the project that you want to work on. So we'll check out the project and double click it to open it. And uh, we're going to create a purchase order here uh, via the QuickBooks tab. And here you see there's a purchase order section. And here you can create um, purchase orders for just selected items or for all items. More commonly, you'll be doing for selected items uh, because you likely order um, your parts from different vendors. And uh, you can create separate purchase orders for each vendor, of course. You can also add to an existing purchase order. Um, so if you've already created a purchase order for a, for a particular vendor and, and pushed to QuickBooks from another project, um, or even this project, you can add more products to that existing purchase order if you'd like. Maybe you're looking to get a bulk discount or you just want to have all of your um, order going to the same vendor all in one purchase order. So that's that option there. You can also clear, um, if you make a mistake or something like that, you can clear that um, the fields in our software that um, refer to a created purchase order over in QuickBooks. Um, also related um, to this as far as purchasing, um, there's a check inventory option and there's also an order status option that uh, will show off as well. So um, to do this, let's just select um, a few parts. We'll say we get all of this stuff and uh, all of the triad stuff here. So I'll select everything that I want to create a purchase order for and then choose create and we'll choose select it. That will open the create purchase order uh, form here. And um, there's a vendor dropdown and this is gonna look at your vendor list in QuickBooks. In this case, I'm gonna select this vendor and uh, the shipping address over here will default to your company address, um, or you could choose from any of the, your customer jobs over in QuickBooks if they already exist, uh, if you're shipping directly to site. Um, so uh, you can see here's that check inventory button here again. Um, so prior to pushing this over, you might wanna check the uh, inventory and see what's available. You may not need to order something. And that's assuming that you're um, running inventory items over in QuickBooks. I'll select an item here and click that. And it shows that um, there are two of these on hand in QuickBooks, according, well, uh, on in your inventory, I should say, but according to QuickBooks, there's uh, two on hand, uh, none on any POs, none on any uh, sales order at this current time in my QuickBooks file. So that's cool that you can check that. Uh, I'm still gonna push all of these over, uh, even though we just checked that. Um, now you can see this customer job field here um, you do have the ability up here to assign a you know a different customer job to this or create new a uh, customer or a new job, um, but if the customer job is recognized, if it's it's one that's already been pushed over, say from um, pushing over an estimate through our software like this is, it will automatically default um, to assign to this customer job. So that's good for tracking that you know over in QuickBooks when you do receive these these parts. Um, and now if everything is not assigned an item number, um, you would see the blank fields here. In this case, um, everything is assigned. We've covered um, creating items in the estimates video. And also there's a whole separate video on just creating uh, bulk items uh, in your uh, SI2015 catalog. So uh, really at this point, um, just click the create purchase order button and this will um, push over to QuickBooks. And um, you're gonna be prompted here to save this file. So you're going to want to go ahead and um, do that. So we'll just go ahead and hit yeah, yes on that. Um, let's go over to QuickBooks and uh, have a look. Here's the purchase orders. Let's see if I can go to a previous one. And here we go. This is the purchase order two that was just exported over. And you can see all the items here are listed. So that's how you push a purchase order over to QuickBooks from an SI 2015 project. And uh, since we already have these highlighted, we'll go ahead and click this uh, order status button here. And this will look over uh, in QuickBooks and let you know um, what's been ordered um, and you know what's been received regard uh, as far as these items um, that you've just pushed over in that purchase order. So that's very cool. And of course, you can come back and check any time on that. Um, what also happened here, too, when we pushed this to uh, QuickBooks let's go to our uh, layouts here and let's go to um, the order tab you can see that these items that were selected are showing as order number two that was the um, quickbooks uh, purchase order number and then the uh, order date and then the order status shows as ordered um, you can change 
this um, setting here. It, it's actually a QuickBooks setting. We've covered that in the actual QuickBooks settings video. But um, here, under purchase order, this is where you can choose whether or not um, you want to have the default ordered status um, apply. Or if you've customized this list, you could pick from anything that you want. And here's where you manage your order statuses. So again, um, that is creating a purchase order uh, over in QuickBooks.